Wi-Fi connected but no internet access, how to fix it on Android. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from Solution Guy. In today's video, I will simply show you how you can fix if the Wi-Fi shows connected but does not have internet access. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now, sometimes you could be connected to your Wi-Fi but it's saying no internet access. That could be multiple reasons why. The very first thing I would recommend you do is to simply restart your router or your internet device. So if you are using a router or a broadband connection, I would recommend you to restart it. Also, try to use it on other devices for example if you have a windows or other phones see if the network is working on those devices as well because if it isn't working then the problem could be with your isp or your internet service provider and not necessarily with your android phone but once you fix all of that and you verify that is not the case there could be some of the reasons why you're not being able to use the wi-fi on your android phone the very first thing i would recommend you to do is to simply start with the basics that is to turn on flight mode or airplane mode once and to turn it off again and now you could go ahead and then simply turn off wi-fi on and off again just like that and after that if it's still not working you could go ahead and tap on the gear icon of the Wi-Fi and simply tap on the forget button and whenever you forget that Wi-Fi what you have to do is you have to tap on it again and you have to re-enter the password and then connect to it so let me re-enter my password as well once you re-enter your password, tap on the connect button in order to connect to that particular Wi-Fi just like that. And most likely that will fix the issue. But if it's still showing the exclamation mark over there which says connected but no internet access, I would also recommend you to simply restart your Android phone. So press the volume down buttons as well as the power buttons together depending upon your key combination. And you can tap on the restart and then select the restart option from this list in order to fix the issue. Last but not the least, if you have cellular Wi-Fi, I would recommend you to turn on cellular Wi-Fi and then update your software. So go ahead and open settings and then go to software update and tap on download and install. And if there are any type of updates available, even 15 megabytes or 100 megabytes, I would recommend you to download and install them anyhow you can also connect to your PC and then download the software and then you could go ahead and then update it as well and hopefully one of these solutions would have fixed your issue if it did help solve the issue make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video